So we are in the Abacus Spiele booth with Matthias Wagner, and uh, we, we, our show is called The Spiel. We're at Spiel 2011, and we're talking about Spiel. Spiel. <laughs> so we've got it covered from all bases here. It's a dice game, and this is a, a sort of new, newly revitalized version of Yeah, it's a Spiel. re-edition. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this game is actually on the market for like 30 years now. So the first edition was published in 1979, 1980, I guess. And it was actually called Spiel. Then there were re-editions called Das Spiel, but we changed it back to Spiel. So, um, and the main idea between uh, you have in this game is that it's a game system. So you have uh, a lot of dice and you have this uh, main part, this pyramid. And uh, if you stack up the dice, then you, you get a pyramid with three sides. And uh, what the author did was, from the start, he said to people, buy it and try to invent your own games. So he had a few games at the start, like five or something like that. And then a lot of people were inventing games for this system. And uh, I think the Cosmos edition had like 50 rules or something like that. Wow. Not all of the games were good. So that's why we changed it back and said, okay, we, we will play every game invented for this uh, pyramid and say which game is good enough for our edition. So how many games made the cut? <laughs> right now five games in this edition and, and there is a Spielbox special you get at the fair entrance then we made another uh, game rule and it's inside this, uh, this fair special from the Spielbox. Nice, so six games. Total, yeah, it's six games. Nice. So maybe it's getting more. <laughs> uh, we are always open for suggestions and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to, to the players how they react to, to this edition. But the dice most of the games deal with putting the dice in this configuration in some form or fashion? Yeah there are basically maybe two uh, different games. There are games where you build up the pyramid and there are also games where you uh, you uh, how you say uh, take you, it apart? You start <laughs> with a build up pyramid and then it's getting less dice. Okay. Yeah. And um, well one of the, the main games, uh, all, all the games are explained very quickly and we try to focus on good rules and, and uh, uh, explanations and uh, with a lot of pictures because I think that's very uh, useful it makes learning for people. Easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, do the, the different games included, do they range from young players to uh, older players in terms of the level of difficulty or are they all geared towards families? Yeah. Um, there are many possibilities, uh, the many different games. You could also invent, uh, there are also strategy games, but uh, we try to focus on the family game market and on the quick games that people get very uh, Soon, uh, like one minute explanation and um, there's for example like a memory version you know yeah sure there's also uh, uh, like dexterity games are also possible we don't have it included here but there are a lot of different uh, kind of games and we try to focus on the more family style versions now there's also a smaller version uh, as well too, sort of a, yeah. mini, a mini spiel, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, I don't have it here. So <laughs> That's I okay. <laughs> brought it. It's a 20 dice uh, version, and um, uh, right now there are no rules available for it. But it's the same as with the first edition in in the 80s. Um, we want people to to invent uh, little games for it. You could also use it as a fourth color for, for the main game, for the base game, for example. <laughs> so that, that's the, we want to, to have this uh, initial idea about uh, inventing games and being creative. We want that to be in the mini period too. I like the idea that you, uh, you go back to the people who buy the games and say you, you're not just playing, that you can design as well, that there's not this sharp divide between yeah. the people who make games and the people who play them that if you play them you can you can make them too right yeah right right <laughs> and um, the, it's very easy it's about um, you have different colors you have the numbers on the dice and you have these uh, 3d creating uh, created a pyramid 
And so there are a lot of uh, ways you can start with, with, a lot of ideas you can start with. Uh, I want a strategic game, I want a luck game or something like that. So Now lest everyone think that as much as we love dice, you don't only make dice games. You have other games to talk about here. One, one of which is, it, it came out a little bit earlier this year, but it's been proven to be pretty popular, and that is uh, Airlines Europe. Yeah, right. So uh, Airlines Europe is actually uh, a remake of a game called Airlines in 1990. A lot of people maybe don't know Airlines because this is 20 years ago, but they maybe know Union Pacific, Right. which was also released between that with the train theme and now we've gone back to the uh, to the airplane theme and um, what we did was we, we looked at the previous versions and we tried to streamline the gameplay to to make it faster and more family friendly and what I think when people ask me about what is this game what's the weight of the game is it for family games or not, I would say is it's one step above Ticket to Ride. Okay. Um, it doesn't share the mechanics of Ticket to Ride, just uh, shares the appeal as a as a good, really good uh, gateway game. And I think that is where this game shines. It appeals to a wide audience, and if you uh, have uh, some friends who, who started playing like Carcassonne, Settlers, or something like that, then this is a good game to. to to really get them into the hobby. Just one step up the ladder, yeah. maybe. <laughs> now, it's a, it's a route building game, but with a, more of a, a little economics involved in, say, yeah. a Ticket to Ride or something like that. Yeah, basically it's a majority game about the shares. So um, you have to look uh, for, uh, for the, the shares you have on your hand and you play them in the portfolio wisely so you have the majorities uh, when the scoring cards show up. And you also play on the board, and there you have this route building. Uh, uh, and um, uh, every time you, you buy a license for an airline, it spreads its nets over uh, over Europe. Then also this company becomes more and more valuable. So invest your you invest your money into companies that you already have shares in, and this is a light share uh, mechanism, not too economic. <laughs> now. Well, can you tease us maybe about some other titles that might be coming up in the future? I'm yeah, sure that yeah. you have some things maybe coming down the road here, not too far off. Yeah, we have some uh, prototypes we are testing and uh, also the schedule for Nuremberg is, is done. And um, Michael Schacht will do another game in the uh, using the, the books from Valdora. Oh, so there nice. were these wooden tiles where you have to uh, look through the pages and uh, so he used this book in another game and it will be an African theme about expeditions in Africa and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I had a lot of fun playtesting. That sounds a lot like a lot of fun. We're big fans of Valdora and I really especially like the, the book little yeah. mechanic is, is especially uh, clever and unique, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a unique thing and, and uh, we, we had the idea of bringing it into another game to keep that unique thing alive. Well, if people want to find out more information uh, about Abacus Vila, where can they go? Is there something online that they could go to find out more information? We have a homepage, but um, it's, it's in German. So uh, maybe if you can read German, that's, that's the, way, uh, the way to go. We have a Facebook uh, community, small, building it up. So okay. maybe if you want to get a fan of Abacus Spiele, just join us on Facebook. And um, of course, I'm trying to do a lot on BGG. So I keep track of, uh, of the uh, threads about uh, uh, Abacus Spiele and our games. And uh, I try to answer every uh, question when I have the time. Well, we really appreciate, appreciate you taking the time out of your day to talk to us. And uh, it's great to see you uh, breathing some new life into some great games and bringing them maybe to a whole new generation of people who didn't get to enjoy them in the past. Yeah, I think this, this uh, Spiel idea is so unique and, and so educational that it, it deserves to be kept alive and what we did with the cover design to, to tell people what is exactly in this box and, and that will that is the next step I guess to 
and it, it, I, I hope it will be very successful this edition. Well, best of luck here at Essen, and uh, we hope to talk to you again sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you for coming.